I know what day it is, but do you know what day it is? Today is Wednesday. Welcome to the latest episode of Thank God It Is Wednesday, uh, the Almost Didn't Happen edition. Uh, so I, I got I got home today, uh, and apparently I left my uh, webcam uh, in a not ideal place and uh someone not naming names someone someone thought it was a chew toy so i i put it at about 50 50 of whether or not it would work because it sure doesn't look like it would work but apparently it does so hooray all right so uh today was uh this is a pretty big week at least for me um, I, I don't think it was a huge week overall, but sometimes just have those weeks when like just all your books hit. Uh, so this is going to take me a while to, um, to, to actually read through all this, but that's all right. But before we start, uh, the book of the week last week, uh, I don't know if I've ever had it be this one before, but it is Superman 20. Uh, so we are well into the arc of Superman having revealed his identity to the world. Uh, and, well, I have some thoughts on that in general, which I'll kind of get to uh, a little bit later. Um, this issue had some really interesting takes on that whole thing. Um, mostly the, the morality of him being a... Clark Kent being a reporter and reporting upon... Superman, who you know, is, is now revealed to be the same person, uh, or same alien, or same entity, at any rate, uh, in that it gives him as a reporter in the Daily Planet an unfair advantage in in reporting these types of events. Um, uh, you know, ethically, it's probably not unethical; it's probably not illegal, but morally. Like that uh, doesn't really that's that seems like a gray area. So there's some problems and some questions arising from that. Uh, Prayer White's like whatever, roll with it. Uh, but it's it's an interesting sort of thought experiment. Um, and things are brought up of of like yeah this Superman thing happens, but we check like Clark Kent didn't report on it. The person who got the break was this other paper. Um, but anyway, it was just sort of that, that concept, um, and exploring that a little bit was kind of, I thought it was kind of interesting. Uh, so I picked that for the book of the week. Uh, as for, uh, polls, uh, I mean, there's ended up just being a lot of stuff. Like it's all good stuff, but it's a lot of stuff. Um, amazing Mary Jane, uh, and been, really have been enjoying that. Um, Daredevil, I think Daredevil is finally realizing that he's just being Daredevil. Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong, I, I give this book crap all the time for what he's trying to do. Um, but it's, 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 as nonsensical as it may be, it's still a good book. Um, TMNT, uh, 103. Uh, this is cool, some, uh, little baby mutants escaped, they were made and escaped, uh, I think what Hob had them, uh, and there's little ba baby ferrets. I think it was the, at the end of the previous issue they saw them like running off, like oh, this is gonna be, this is gonna be fun. Uh, just the combination of young, young humanoidish ferrets. Uh, Star Trek Year Five Number Ten, Sulu and Fish Lady getting to know each other. Uh, Runaways number thirty. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping here that um, Gert is finding her place on this new team. Uh, I mean, it's the same Runaways, but if, if you're reading it, you know they they're sort of formed a, an actual super team where Gert is like, well, I don't have any powers. Uh, I have a pet dinosaur, but I'm super vulnerable uh, on the field, and the pet dinosaur doesn't even really favor me anymore um but i think she's going to be sort of this behind the scenes maybe oracle type person which is good because one like gert's great i want her to have a good place in the team at the same time i'm kind of tired of mopey gert 
Uh, there's no play that can't be on. That can't come out in the field. I'm left out. Like, okay. You're left out because they love you and they don't want you to die. Um, but it's, 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 it's wearing on me. So hopefully she finds her place and she's happy with it. I don't know how long this super team is going to last. It's, it, I get bad vibes from the, uh, the, I can't remember the name of the guy who's running the team, but it's like, yeah, he's always just has these kids as super teams. They all freaking die. Uh, because I mean, I guess that's what happens when you have kids. Uh, running around and fighting bad guys with guns and stuff. So it seems, I don't know, feels like there's something shady going on. Uh, Revenge of Cosmic Ghost Rider. Great stuff. Uh, more Legion. Uh, Legion of, of Superheroes. Fantastic. Uh, been, been digging it so far. Uh, you know I love Superman's pal Jimmy Olsen. I cannot stress enough. If you are not reading this, read it. If you can't find the issues, this will be really good in trade. Just pick up the trade when it comes out. It is so worth it. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, I've been reading this for a long time. Uh, I'm really excited for this. I, I really like this arc. I just thought it was really, really creative. Um, the, the point of origin. Um, I think the, like last week, I... I had this as, uh, or the, the last issue was a, a book of the week for me, uh, whenever that was, um, as I just had this really poignant moment um, regarding the thing and the realization that, you know, he's been like blaming Reed this entire time, but it's not his fault. But uh, this, this has been a really interesting story. So I'm excited to see how it wraps up. Uh, Dungeons and Dragons and Darkened Wish. Uh, as I've mentioned multiple times, Dungeons and Dragons is on notice of uh the risk of getting cut i mean i gotta cut something this is getting out of hand uh deadpool number three the the king of the monsters sort of or is that whatever the run is called where he's running monster island uh conan the barbarian so finished up the first uh 12 issue arc uh which was good so starting a brand new arc excited to see what that's going to be about uh, Captain America, are we getting a reveal of who the Dryad is? To be honest, either a combination of I read too much or Captain America has been utterly unforgettable that when they're like Dryad revealed, I'm like, I don't even know who they're talking about <laughs> in this book. Who is the Dryad? Apparently I care about them being revealed. Um, so I don't know. Maybe I need to cut it. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, Archie, number 711. Um, I'm not sure what they're doing with these. Because they did Archie and Sabrina, one through five or six, and Archie and Katie Keene, number one, two, and whatever. But really, it's, you know, it has the full number. It's just some weird, weird thing. I don't, I don't know what Katie Keene's doing on there. Like, that just seems, I don't know, a little... A little too much for an Archie book. He's got some stuff going on. Uh, Aquaman. Uh, obviously, uh, Mera is in a way. Um, which, again... I'm, yeah. So, we'll see. Uh, and uh, Batman 89. So, uh, apparently, this, this is already a $25 book. Uh, there's a cameo of, uh, what's punchline? Is it punchline? Uh, Joker's new bay. Uh, so this is sold out everywhere. I'm told it's hit twenty five dollars already on the aftermarket, which and I don't. As I've mentioned before, I don't. I don't do speculation. I don't look up. So what's coming ahead? I have to be surprised. Which I understand is probably surprising to some people, considering how important comics are to me. Uh, I have this YouTube channel. I have a huge collection. I read a bunch. Uh, it's part, I have a small business that surrounds it. How can I not know things like this? It's like, well, because I have all this other stuff going on. I don't have time to keep up with speculation and what's coming out and and, uh, and whatnot. And that's not what I'm in it for. I'm not in it for the money. Like, if this was coming out, and I, if I didn't read Batman, and I found out this was coming out, I wouldn't have tried to get it. Like, I don't care uh, about that sort of aspect. Um, if, if it happens to be in my pool because I like that book and I like the stories in it, 
and it ends up being worth something, cool. Uh, that's a, that's just bonus for me. But I don't do that speculation stuff. So, uh, yeah, I didn't know this was going to be a thing, but it was in my poll file. Always have a poll file to guarantee you get these things. Um, we'll see. Uh, what was I going to... Oh, the other thing I want to talk about here is... You know, it, it's, it is what it is. Fine, it's it's some $25,000 book. Uh, that I don't care about. I want it to be a good story. And I, I hope that it's just a fun story. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm suffering from, from DC fatigue. I have DC fatigue, which is weird because DC by far is, a, is the smallest percentage of books that I read. Uh, well, I mean, aside from like, little image stuff like between Marvel and DC Marvel far outweighs DC but almost everything that DC is doing I am just tired of uh, and I, I'm sure I, I can't be the only one that noticed uh, notices but they are doing too much like everything for some reason has to be this big thing right and it's too much it's exhausting we the City of Bane, this 12-issue thing where Batman is kicked out and Thomas Wayne is there and Alfred dies. Spoiler alert. Alfred dies. Like this whole big thing. Uh, even in Detective, this, what was it, like a six-issue arc where Nora Freeze is unthawed. Now, you may say, like, well, I mean, it was a good story. It, 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 was, a, it was a good story. But at the same time, like Nora Freeze being unthawed and alive, that is that is huge. Like Mister Freeze's entire motivation for doing what he does is that his wife is frozen. Ever since the beginning of that character, uh, at least sort of in 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 you know our, our, what we uh, currently in modern times consider. Uh, Mr. Freeze's sort of story and, and backstory, that's the whole reason for everything. And now that's changed. And again, change is good, but that that almost, I don't know. It's Again, it's, it's, a, it's a big deal. Uh, I'm not saying that that story shouldn't have been told, but you, you can have just sort of fun, small stories about, uh, like, give me just a fun Riddler story. Oh, the Riddler is doing a thing. And it doesn't have to do anything, be anything that changes the state of the world for these characters. But that's what DC seems to be doing. Every line, every story arc is changing the world of that character. Superman, identity revealed. That is huge and completely changes the state of Superman's world. Uh, even, you know, even, even Aquaman, right? It was Aquaman uh, forgot he or he was dethroned. He forgot he was king. Mara became queen. Mara's pregnant. Like, slow down. Like, give us a breather. Like, in between these huge freaking, the universe for this character is changing. Give me a two or three story arc of, hey. I don't, I don't know, you know, uh, uh, Mr. Mikjus Pitalek is <laughs> coming around and causing some trouble and it's going to be a fun story. The state of the world afterwards is still the state of the world. It's, it's fine. Not everything has to be this huge ordeal. It's just, it is exhausting. They need to slow down. They're, they're definitely trying to do, I feel they're trying to do a thing. It, it wasn't always like this. It has to be sort of some sort of calculated move where I don't know, maybe their, their shares are down. Uh, their share of the market is down. So like, Oh, we got to really shake it up by, by having, you know, these, these big sort of events. So like, if you care about Superman a little bit, you got to read Superman because the world is changing. If you care about Batman a little bit, you got to get Batman a detective because the world, like, ah, it's so much. It's so much. Um, all right. Anyway, uh, a couple of magazine-sized black labels, uh, Joker, Killer Smile, um, and Wonder Woman, Dead Earth. This one, uh, I, re I really, really like the first issue of that. Uh, 
the last little, I don't know what you call it, small graphic novel of uh, Superman Smashes the Clan. Cool. Yep. Beat up racists. All for it. Uh, the second volume, volume of House of Whispers in all this Sandman stuff has been fantastic. Uh, House of Whispers is introducing, like, all the, at least as far as I know, all these new characters uh, and a whole new arc, a, a new house, evidently. You know, we have House of Secrets and House of Mysteries. And now we have House of Whispers. Um, it's very, very good. Uh, yeah, the, the first volume was great, so looking forward to this. Uh, and only pulled one thing off the wall. And it's probably curious, but I, I got the Machine Man 2020, which is a tie-in to the the Iron Man AI war thing that has been going on for what seems like way too long. That every time I talk about an issue of Iron Man, I say that I don't care. And here I am getting stuff that's dealing just with that. It's it's the story is going on for too long. That is definitely true. But at the same time, I don't want to be lost in it. I still, I still, I want to understand and have the full story of what I'm reading when I do read Iron Man. So, all right, fine. You got me. Machine Man 2020. Um, I do like Machine Man. Like Aaron Stack, like on his own, is fine. Um, but the, yeah, the, the whole thing that Iron Man is doing fine apparently it's going to be somewhat important i'm sure we have to resolve the fact that tony isn't tony uh in in some way that has to be resolved um let's let's see let's let's see how that gets resolved um so uh yeah i guess that is that is it for wednesday uh what did uh what did you get um that uh that you're really excited about uh what what was uh something that you read last week that you're really into uh leave a comment like subscribe uh do all that stuff and uh we will see you next week this video was brought to you by titan comic pressing follow us on facebook and instagram at titan comic pressing llc